to praise the Lord. And it's a wonderful day to pray. And it's a wonderful day to stand on our healing, to stand on the scriptures, to stand on what it is that the Lord has said. Amen. And that is that that healing is the children's bread. Praise the Lord. And so we just receive this today. Amen. I know a lot of you will be coming on here just now. Amen. So praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory. We magnify you. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing and, and how you're doing it. That, Father God, your presence among us is so strong. I thank you, Father God, that your word coming to each and every person right now. Father God, will absolutely begin to change things. Father God, that we, Father, at the very core of our being, even, Father God, our cellular <clears throat> workings, will be infused by your power, infused by your anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Amen. As you're coming on today, remember, share, 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 share. I mean, it was amazing last night to see the difference that, that the sharing uh, made. Praise the Lord. But uh, it just amazes me. Praise God. Amen. How many, how many difference? <laughs> the, the difference when somebody begins to share it. Amen. It was like, I think we went quadruple last night. Amen. And people were just get, getting us, we were getting picked up in people's feeds and all of those different things. So, so good to see you today. Don't forget prayer tonight at 7 p.m. Amen. Right here at Millennial 6355 East Kelly Drive. Amen. If you can't make it in person and you're not in the Tulsa area, amen, then we'll be looking for you on stream. If you're in the Tulsa area, we'll be looking for you in person, guys. Amen. Come on. We need to get together. And Hebrews 10 tells us, do not forsake the gathering together of the saints all the more as we see that day approaching. Amen. So it's been very powerful, very powerful uh, over the last couple of days. I pray that you've been getting something out of this. I pray that something powerful has been happening in your life. Amen. And uh, that we have testimonies. Amen. So if you have any testimonies, post them here. Amen. If you if you absolutely know that God has done something in your body, you believe that there is change. Amen. Let us know, guys. Praise the Lord. Maybe it's you. Maybe you've just had a change of mind, a change of heart. Maybe you've seen something over the last couple of days that, that you haven't seen in quite a while. Maybe you've just heard something over the last couple of days and you know, it stirred you again. It's fired you again. It's like you've, you've just, you know what? Yeah, Pastor, I did. I've, I've let my faith get on the back burner a little bit. It, but but these last couple of days have really ramped, ramped it up. Amen. Come on, just let us know, guys, because these are the things that happen. Uh, you know, over years and years and years and years, the amount of things that we can let slip, the amount of things that we can sort of let go of momentarily, and it takes someone to come along, amen, get a big spoon and stir the pot, amen, to cause us to make sure that we are believing, to make sure that we are going forward, to make sure that we are on the front foot, to make sure that we are pushing in to what it is we know to be the truth, and that truth sets us free. Praise the Lord. Lots of people coming on. Amen. Blessings to you in Denver Airport, Pastor Chris. Amen. But to everyone that's coming on, give us a big thumbs up, guys. Amen. Hit that thumb button. Hit that like button. Amen. Like, comment, share, 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 share. And last night, I think we got over 60 uh, shares. We can break this right now with the amount. And we've only seven shares right now. Amen. And we have over 65, 70 people on with us praying. Amen. So go ahead and share it now. Share it on your feed. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we can get 70 shares, this will be amazing. It'll cause other people to hear the healing word of Almighty God. What an investment. What a seed that you can sow right now. Amen. Of just simply sharing. It's no financial commitment. It's just simply sharing. Amen. This. Just share it quickly. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Letting us know that you're sharing it. Amen. Just write shared in there. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to go as you're doing that, you do diligence to do that. I'm going to go to the scriptures that the spirit of the Lord uh, has really just 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 branded within me over these last few days. And it's Matthew 4, 23, 24. And it says this, and he went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news, the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every weakness and infirmity among the people. Verse 24, so the report of him spread throughout all Syria, and they brought 
him all who were sick, those afflicted with various diseases and torments, those under the power of demons and epileptics and paralyzed people, and he healed them all. I want you to lift your hand up and say, I take it in the name of Jesus. Come on, I believe it. Uh, Thank you, my brother. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory and honor and praise. Thank you for sharing it, everybody, in the name of Jesus. So the things that stand out here is this. Look, he healed those that were afflicted with various diseases and torments under the power of demons, epileptics, and paralyzed people, and he healed them all. In the name of Jesus, I declare that there's not one thing that is named that can stand against you right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 4, I believe, therefore, I speak. Amen. Have in the same spirit of faith. I declare it in Jesus' precious name that faith is rising within your heart, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, that you're being stirred right now. You're being quickened right now. There's a word in season that is coming to you right now. There are keys that are being released to you right now in the name of Jesus. I believe this. I receive this. I would not be doing this if I didn't feel convicted in such a way that I just believe that things are being unlocked. Things are being unraveled. Things, things are coming into line. Things are being aligned. Amen. Even, even just stuff that's been over our eyes, not being able to see what it is we used to see. We command those scales to fall from you. Even your ears to hear what it is that you need to hear in a way, in a way that you maybe haven't in a while. In the name of Jesus, those are coming on. Amen. This is regarding in the healing power of Almighty God. There's a lot of sick people, amen, and we are working with those sick people. So if we can keep keep our focus on, on the healing of people's lives uh, right now, that would be amazing. Praise the Lord. So share, 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 guys. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let's go over to Mark, <clears throat> Mark 16, and let's take a look at this. Mark 16. And uh, know that this is the plan and the purpose of the Father for us in the name of Jesus. So Mark 16, let's take a look at this in verse 16. And it says, he who believes, who adheres to and trusts in and relies on the gospel and him whom it sets forth and is baptized will be saved from the penalty of eternal death. But he who does not believe, who does not adhere to and entrust in and rely on the gospel and him who it sets forth will be condemned. Verse 17, look at this now. It says, and these attesting signs, these attesting signs will accompany those who believe. Shout it out, I'm a believer. In my name, they will drive out demons. We just read it, right, in in Matthew 4. They will speak in new languages. You hear us praying in the spirit. You hear us praying in other tongues. And uh, they will speak in new languages. They will pick up serpents. And even if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. And they will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. Praise God. Shout it out. They will get well. Now, I love what the message translation says in Matthew 4, where it says uh, that, that the bad effects that people have, have had out of living their bad lives. Amen. God is going to sort that. And I just declare that right now. That really came on like a light within me. Amen. That God is sorting it in the name of Jesus. So I, I don't care what type of life you had prior to this. I don't care what type of life you lived. I don't care what you put in your body. Amen. The message sets us up for success. Amen. Not failure. Amen. We can believe. The bar is not set too high. This is not, well, I got to clean up this and I got to clean up that and I got to clean up the other thing. Yet while you were a sinner, you were absolutely disgustingly dirty in sin and Jesus came. You didn't have to clean yourself up. He cleans you up. Amen. 
that was to do with your sins. Think about now what to do with your physical well-being. Amen. If he can do that with your sins, he can do that with your healing. He can do that with your physical well-being. He can do that with your physical situation right now. Amen. Come on. It doesn't matter if you ate in ignorance, all the junk in the world. Amen. Come on. He can touch your body right now. This just believe. Shut it out. He can touch my body right now in the name of of Jesus. We give him praise and honor and glory. Come on, we're getting over the hundred mark right now, guys. Like, comment, share. Let somebody know that we are on because somebody needs this today. In the name of Jesus, thank you all. You all are amazing. Praise the Lord. Hey, Lydia, nice to see you on from Dublin. Praise the Lord. Glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Now look at this in, in Acts chapter three. This is so powerful. So this is uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the 3 o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man, lame from birth, was being carried in. All right? So this man had a situation going on. Amen. He wasn't walking. He was lame from birth. And he was being carried in. Each day, he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate. Now, where were Peter and John going? They were going in the afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. They were going to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. Amen. So this man that was lame for birth was sitting at the temple gate. He's been doing this day after day. And when he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Money. Peter and John looked at them intently and Peter said, look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, get up and walk. In the name of Jesus, we just declare it today. Amen. <clears throat> that you may be looking for, for food, you may be looking for something else, but I'm telling you, it's a touch from Almighty God that needs that you need. Come on, this man was, was lame from birth, but I tell you, this day, everything changed. I mean, he's been sitting here at this temple gate. Amen, people have been going to prayer. This head was so strong yesterday, right? Come on. Uh, praying in the spirit open up our eyes father god that we will see these things amen imagine people going to prayer that's what we said people come into prayer meetings sitting there sick and we don't even recognize that they're sick we're so intent about going to pray about the great plan of god amen when he gave us that commission to lay hands on the sick and they would recover. I want you to shout that out. They would recover. We just broke 100, Mark, ladies and gentlemen. Bless you for, for sharing this today. Amen. Carrie is saying God is good. He's been working in me in a way I've never experienced. I've always battled my mind and confusing thoughts. Ever since Sunday night, I've been so stirred up and felt a drawing to him. Just in these last few days, I already can tell a difference in my thinking. Keep going higher and keep allowing the Lord work in me and stretch me and yield into the things he has for me and wants to show me. It's been so powerful, expecting great and mighty things things. Amen. We are so in agreement with you. This is the part, amen, that excites Karna myself so much, guys. Amen. That when we see people just like this getting switched on, something happening in a moment, just everything beginning to change. And we begin to see God move powerfully in somebody's life. This is what's happening. Amen. And it's happening to more than one. It's happening to many. Amen. Anybody else got a testimony on here today? Amen. It is amazing. Praise your Lord. Praise your Lord. Praise your Lord. Come on, pray in the spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. Exercise that God-given right of being able to speak beyond yourself. In the name of Jesus, praise God. We give him glory and honor and and praise. And then you flick down, you know, when Peter was asked, you know, well, how did this miracle take place? Then Peter just launches in with a preach, a preach of all preaches. And he's like, he's just, he's just going all over them with this. And then all of a sudden he jumps into verse 16. <clears throat> 
And it says this, there through faith in the name of Jesus, this man was healed. A man that was lame from his birth. He says, through faith in the name of Jesus, this man was healed. And you know how crippled he was before. Faith in Jesus' name has healed him before your very eyes. Faith in Jesus' name has healed him before your very eyes. I'm going to say it again. Faith in Jesus' name has healed him before your very eyes. I declare it in Jesus' name that we're going to see more miracles in this day than what we've ever seen. We're going to see more healings in this day than what we've ever seen. We're going to see more miracles, signs, and wonders in this day than what we have ever seen. This is my declaration. I declare it in Jesus' name. From the top of our head to the soles of our feet, we're being quickened by the precious spirit of Almighty God. This man in Acts 3 was, was lame from birth. This was something that was impossible. Amen. But by the spirit of the living God and by the quickening of the anointing, this man's life was changed in Jesus' precious name. If you know somebody that's sick today, what, sick today, why don't you go ahead and write their name in the comments for me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you know somebody that is, uh, that is sick, you know, they're, you know them, you know they need a miracle. <clears throat> I'm just looking at your comments, guys, when I'm looking down here. If you know that they need a miracle, write their name in here. Let's lift them up before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's lift them up before the Lord in the Russia Gale, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up Gale right now. Father God, needing a miracle, we lift up Carrie right now, in the name of Jesus, needing a miracle. Tom needs a new heart, in Jesus' precious name. Come on, this is it, guys. Lift up these names right now. Veronica, your Aunt Joy, Aunt Loy, in Jesus' precious name. Come on, Chase is running a fever. Come on, lift up these names. Uh, Sue Williams, Robert, in the name of Jesus, surgery on the spine. Androfodosola Prabhadonna needs a miracle. Frank Sanderson, in the name of Jesus. Come on, in Jesus' precious name, let's lift them up before the Lord. Right now, Uncle Don, in Jesus' precious name. Come on, this was verse 16, through faith in the name. This man was healed. We declare it through faith in the name. These people are healed. Debbie, in the name of Jesus. Come on, Lenice. Bob, in Jesus' precious name. Tasha, in Jesus' precious name. MS, we just lift that up right now. In Jesus' precious name. MS, it's not your future. In Jesus' precious name. Come on. Dale needs a miracle. Come on. In Jesus' precious name. This is the Sotofrafadasolo Prani. Lambrasolo Torfadaskalamine. In Drofolo Solo Pub. Carolyn. Trinity. Ebony. Joey Jr., in the name of Jesus, Linda, bulging discs, in Jesus' precious name. Come on, through faith in the name of Jesus, this man was healed. In the name of Jesus, it says that they knew that he was crippled. And now before their very eyes, faith in Jesus' name has healed him. I declare it today, faith in Jesus' name is healing these precious people. Jenna is an ICU ICU fighting for her life after cancer surgery. We command that cancer to be cursed at the root. In the name of Jesus, we speak life right now in Jesus' precious name. Joey's liver be healed in Jesus' name. Trisha says, I want a kidney. Will we command that kidney to materialize in the name of Jesus? Come on. There are warehouses in heaven filled with every good thing in Jesus' precious name. Come on. Those warehouses are not sitting full for people in heaven. Those warehouses are sitting full for us that are the saints of God on the earth in the name of Jesus. Remember, we have a covenant with God. Amen. Correct working of the lungs. Correct immune system. Amen. Body come into alignment in the name of Jesus. Judy, Cheryl, 
Tina and Ella. We're lifting them up, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Rebecca said, it's obvious some patient with herpes are being enslaved to the antiviral and other supplementary, all, all of those different things, whatever that is, we declare it in Jesus' precious Father, we lift up Malachi right now needs a new liver in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah, Jared. We lift up Jared right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, your daughter from Uganda. What is your daughter's name, uh, Auric? What is your daughter's name? Let's lift up the names here. Michael Collins, second heart surgery, goes well in the name of Jesus. We declare, amen, that all is well in Jesus' precious name. We declare all is well in Jesus' precious name. Come on, lots of people coming on here today. Like, comment, share. Share with us with someone that you know that needs a breakthrough. Share this with someone that you know, a man that needs a healing in their body. In the Cabresto, La Matra, Fadosho, La Prapra, La Sou, Ezel, Mejou, La Papa, Prapadesca, Nambre, Astoye, Angie, for blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, my daughter is Ayanda. In the name of Jesus, we lift up Ayanda in Uganda. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak healing. We speak wholeness in the name of Jesus. Come on, wholeness, shalom. He came to give us life and that life in abundance. Come on, shut it out. I take life, that life in abundance. In Drofodoska, you know, Prophetoska, Josh is telling me here that you can even tag people you, that you know that are sick. Come on, tag them in Jesus' name. This waking us up. Amen. This waking us up right now in the name of Jesus. This waking it up right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Natalie, a new liver in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am Ariel's mom waiting for test results from procedures. Uh, to see if I have cancer. We curse it at the root, Debbie, in the name of Jesus. Come on, you are not alone. We are so glad that you are on with us today. In the name of Jesus, this lets you see that God truly loves you. In the name of Jesus, we are standing with you. We're standing in agreement with you that you are not alone. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, Melanie, uh, Kevin's broken leg. We command that leg to, to knit together. We command wholeness to come, speedy healing in the name of Jesus. We lift up Barbara. Uh, we lift up Carl and Norma in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory. We magnify his holy name. My brother Gene just lost his wife. And uh, my sister, sister-in-law, Kathy, just lost her husband, my other brother, all, uh, all in the same month, uh, the same time, Winfield, Kansas. Great comfort in the name of Jesus. Father God, we lift up these precious people right now. In Jesus' precious name, we speak the comfort of the Holy Spirit to them. In Jesus' name, peace to the families. In Jesus' precious name, we lift up Becky with long issues right now. In Jesus' precious name, we lift up Father <clears throat> Rosalind a brain disorder in Jesus' precious name. Listen to these prayer requests, guys. That's why we have to do this in Jesus' name. Too many people sick, too many people suffering, too many people being just, just tormented by these things. I mean, this precious person waiting on, you know, test results. Amen. Well, I tell you, there's a report. There's a report of the Lord. Amen. And it's a good report. And I cause you to get your eyes on Jesus, author and the finisher of your faith in Jesus' precious name. Uh, uh, Carrie has said, my uncle Michael's liver uh, failing from diabetes. Your Aunt Glenda has spots on her lung. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing right now. In the name of Jesus to Michael and to Glenda, we speak healing to, to Diane in the name of Jesus, uh, to Melissa uh, with uh, leukemia. In the name of Jesus, come on. Jesus bore our sickness. 
Teresa saying, pray for my assistant in Acapulco. Her blood platelets are super low. Doctors have not found the reason she is uh, speaking to her body to be healed and function correctly. We command those platelets, platelets to come up in the mighty name of Jesus. Come up in the name of Jesus. Prosola prapadishtola parpadaya. We take authority over seizures. Glenda, rise up. We command those seizures to stop. Whatever it is that that's, that, that's causing that, we put an axe to the root of it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, David Mark, miracle opening of all veins and arteries, circulation, lymphatic systems uh, to work in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify you. Mendele peor sola prapadesco la mea sola prapadesco la porbai. Mendele peor la pa prapadesco la mendele peine. Pastor Karn just received a text uh, from a friend. Uh, Sam, can you ask Pastor Paul to include me? high blood pressure and osteoporosis in the name of Jesus. Absolutely in Jesus' name. Margaret, we take authority over that high blood pressure right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, we take authority over that high blood pressure. We command it to normalize whatever it is that is causing that high blood pressure. Whatever it is that's causing that blood pressure to rise, it's just your body speaking. It's telling you something's not right somewhere. Well, we command your body to come into line. Margaret, just reach your, reach your hands towards me right now in the name of Jesus. Amen, a point of contact. We command your body to come into line in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over that osteoporosis. In the cross, you have We take authority over all bone issues. Amen. Arthritis. Amen. Rheumatoid arthritis. In the name of Jesus, come on. We're going to be free from sickness. We're going to be like calves loose from the stall. We're going to be stronger in our latter years than we were in our former. Come on. We've lost to look forward to. Great futures to look forward to. We're not going to love to live. Amen. Incarcerated in sick bodies. These bodies are going to work infused by the power of Almighty God. God. He sent his word and he healed us and he delivered us in the name of Jesus. More and more people coming on, guys. Amen. Come on. Keep lifting up your voices. Keep lifting up the word. Keep lifting up and praying in the spirit. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. Stephen has spirit of narcissism. Uh, with my granddaughter and my great grandson, we take authority over that narcissism. We lay an arch to the root of it. Amen. Could be something demonic working there. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We give God praise and honor and glory. Menjula Pradis si Angela Rebecca Sam Parkinson's heart blockage, uh, valve issues, cancer, stomach issues. Uh, issues from the vaccine in the name of Jesus. Come on, that's that bad, uh, bad things. We just, we just overturn issues from vaccines in the name of Jesus. Issues from COVID, COVID in the name of Jesus. Issues from anything that was put in our body through food, through medicine, in the name of Jesus. People suffering, you know, from from side effects of medication in the name of Jesus. Come on. Uh, Donna sent healing uh, from uh, for large tumor growth and eyesight. We command that tumor to leave in the name of Jesus. We command it to dissipate, to fall apart, for you to pass that in the name of Jesus, for that tumor to come away in the name of Jesus. Come away in the name of Jesus. Ebrastola paprapidasto matrofaya. Menjula prapado from anasala paprapidanga. The dung fever. We command effects of that to leave in the name of Jesus. Uh, neck issues. We command them to rectify anything that's out. Like, come back in. Any disc issues. Be sorted now in the name of Jesus. We give him praise and honor and glory. Come on, agree for each other. Lift each other up, guys. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give him praise and honor and glory. Father, you're such a great God. We're coming up to one o'clock. We declare his goodness. Come on, like, comment, share. 
cut this out, knee, knee grip fever in a court case, starting in a great, in a few minutes, you have it. You have it. You have it. In the name of Jesus, favor to you right now. He crown, crowns you with favor in Jesus' precious name. Our next door neighbor, uh, Steve, for his kidneys to work properly. They find some stuff on his organs. Hallelujah. Sandy sends salvation for our family in Jesus' precious name. You know, you may be watching today. You may have logged on to this. And you're thinking, what are these people doing? Amen. What we're doing is what everyone should be doing. Amen. Standing on the word of Almighty God. You may not even know the Lord as your, as your personal Savior. Amen. You can have a wonderful opportunity right now to receive Jesus into your life. Amen. To receive the King of glory as your Lord and personal Savior. You simply do that by saying, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sin of rejecting you. Amen. I choose to serve you for the rest of my life. And I make you the Lord of my life today. If you pray that simple prayer, let us know. Amen. Come on, let us know. In Jesus' precious name. Over a hundred people, a hundred and twenty odd people on here. Uh, Josh is asking, what are you saying about 30 people, Josh? Just to share, to keep sharing in the name of Jesus. Keep sharing. Uh, he's looking more more than 30 people to share this. Amen. Of all the people that are on here, amen, share it. I mean, of 120 odd people, amen, every one of us can be sharing this. Like, comment, amen, praise the Lord. We give him praise and honor and glory. Debbie is saying this, please pray for my son, uh, Michael, Michelangelo Howard, that he comes back to church and gets his life back to the Lord. Amen. We lift Michelangelo up right now, Debbie. In the name of Jesus, we are in total agreement with you. He comes back uh, to the things of God in Jesus' precious name. Now, everybody, you can go ahead and like share this here. But I want to read this to you from this book right here. And it's commissioned with power by uh, Gordon Lindsay. I mean, commissioned by power. There it is. By Gordon Lindsay. You can see it, and uh, such a phenomenal book. But I want to read this to you. Just stay with me just a few more minutes. I want to read this to you, uh, and you can all interact with each other. Amen. Julie's asking for Sila, five years old, tumor on her stomach. We curse it at the root. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your time. What a powerful prayer meeting, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. But he says in this here, in, in chapter 13, the various healing gifts. And he says this, various gifts of healings are needed for the different kinds of sicknesses. The question naturally arises as to the gripping of the disease. The scriptures do not answer this directly, but experience in ministering to the sick gives us some good evidence as to the probable classifications. For example, there is a similarity between the afflictions caused by certain evil spirits. And that's what you must never forget. There are certain things going on here today. They're not natural. Some of these things that have been mentioned today, they're not natural. They come from a demonic origin and they're a result by demonic interference. Those are the things that you have to take authority over. Those are the things that you have to bind. Those are the things that you have to cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. So he goes on to say here, casting out blind, deaf, and mute spirits. We believe the specific gifts of healings are involved in deliverance from this category of disease. Scriptures, consistently speaking of casting out evil spirits as being different from healing the sick, as an example in Matthew 8, 16. Certain types of demons take possession of the auditory and optical nerves and cause a paralysis. The person afflicted by them may become deaf or blind, but they cannot hear and have no way of learning how to produce intelligible signs. Many deaf people, unless specifically or specially trained, cannot talk. If the spirit is cast out of a deaf person and someone will patiently teach them to use their voice, they will gradually learn to talk. On the other hand, if a mute spirit actually controls the vocal cords, the person may be able to hear and yet they are unable to talk. Spirits may gain control over various nerve centers in the human body, partially crippling or paralyzing certain muscles. 
The evil spirits that cause these afflictions are not the most powerful and usually can be cast out without much difficulty. In these cases, the return of hearing or sight may occur instantly. You see, it's so important, guys, that you understand that there are things that are the direct result of demons. However, as Jesus pointed out, these exercised spirits desire a human body and may return. Therefore, the person should be forewarned and prepared to resist any attempt on their part to gain entry into a body again in Jesus' precious name. And I declare over you that you are free and whom the sun sets free is free indeed in that you are staying free. Shout it out, I am staying free. Say it out one more time, I am staying free. He goes on to talk of a testimony. I want to read this before I go off here today. He goes on to talk about a testimony of a blind man in Lima, Peru. I recall the healing of a completely blind man in Lima, Peru previously, 25 years ago. He had lost his sight and was able to see even a ray of light. The man was standing near the front of the healing line. Ordinarily, I do not consider it advisable to minister to a completely blind person the first time they attend a meeting. If they attend some of the meetings first, their faith is being built up to an expectation of healing. When I observed the eager expression on the face of this man, I sensed that he had faith to be healed. An expression of expectancy lit up his entire countenance. I determined to pray for him. Apparently a blind spirit had oppressed the optic nerves, causing him to lose all sight. His situation was similar to the man in Matthew 12, 22. I laid hands on him, rebuking the blindness, and after a moment asked him if he could see. He opened his eyes wide and looked about with great eagerness and anticipation. It was apparent that he saw nothing. However, he was so sure that he could see, he would not admit that he remained blind. He stood there smiling and looking, and I told him to stand for a few minutes while I prayed for some of the others. I had hardly started when I heard a tremendous shout come from the audience. I turned around to see that the man was pointing out the lights, counting them, unos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. The entire audience rose to their feet, shouting and worshiping God. I noticed the man pause, a look of confusion spread over his face, and he began to shake his head. I said to the interpreter, something is wrong. Ask him what the trouble is. They discussed in Spanish, and he said, I can see, but all the lights are great long tubes. He extended his hands, uh, indicating the light. When he became blind, fluorescent lights had not been invented. As soon as the matter was explained, all was well. In this particular case, it was evident that this man's eyeballs were undamaged, but oppressing spirits had deadened the optic nerves. Freed from this, the man was able to see immediately. Freed from this, the man was able to see immediately. Casting out the more powerful demons, and that is Matthew 17, 19, 21, of which we will go into tomorrow at noontime. From now until then, we have our prayer service tonight right here at Millennial Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. God is doing something so powerful in, among, and through us. The presence of God in the midst of worship. God gave me a vision years ago that in the middle of worship, people would begin to realize that they would be healed, delivered, that they would receive miracles, not from the laying on of a man's hands, not from a celebrity preacher, but from the touch of Almighty God. I sense this presence of God, this presence of God mightily moving among us. You don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss any of these meetings. And you want to be there in purpose. Tonight we have youth and we have children's ministry. Come bring your youth, put them in youth. Come bring your children, put them in children's ministry and put yourself, amen, into the presence of God in a corporate anointing in our Tuesday evening service. Doesn't matter what church you belong to, come tonight. This is Tuesday night. It's like an off night. Amen. Around here, usually midweeks or Wednesdays, but the Spirit of the Lord told us to go Tuesday nights. Amen. We're looking for your family tonight, 7 p.m. I know that God is in the business of doing something great. Amen. Because something good is happening to each and every one of us. Don't forget tonight as you're coming on, don't forget to like, comment, and share. 
share it. If you're watching and you cannot make the live service, amen, in person, when you log on tonight, it doesn't matter whether it's Facebook, doesn't matter what page on Facebook, doesn't matter if you're on YouTube, share it in the name of Jesus. Share it. Take the link. This is what I do at times. I copy the link from YouTube and I send it to friends. I send it out there. Why? Because I believe that what I'm listening to and what I'm getting, other people need to get it as well. Amen. For those of us here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you'll be glad to know. Amen. The roads are great. The parking lot of church here is great. Amen. Sean has done a phenomenal job. Amen. We're just praying that heat in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's getting warmer. But we'd love to see you in person tonight. Amen. Right here at church to make God's presence manifest among us. Remember, we all know the presence of the Lord, but then there's the manifested presence of the Lord. Amen. And that is what we're all about in Jesus' precious name. God bless you, everybody. Amen. Thank you for being part of prayer today. Amen. Some good's happening. Like Oral Roberts said, we're expecting that miracle every day. Let us know if this touched you today. Amen. Let us know if this helped you today. Give us a big thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. We want to do this more and more and more. No shrinking back. Land hold of people's precious lives. The hospitals are full. Everybody's got a word. Everybody's got something to say. You know, there's so much unbelief and so many bad reports just, just circulating around. People trying to catch this and catch that. What's going around now? What's happening here? and What's happening there? Amen. But I'm telling you, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're allowing the healing power of Jesus Christ to rise within us. Amen. To hold us, to lay hold of us in Jesus' name, that we will live long and strong on the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We're blessed coming in, blessed going out, blessed in the city, blessed in the field, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Text somebody today. Let them know what we're doing at noon times. Amen. And tonight's meeting, praise the Lord. I know there's a lot of people, praise the Lord, even in the United States of America. Amen. Glory to God. Over three, what? Lord, 300 million people. Amen. That's a lot of people. And I'm telling you, if we could reach just a few of them, God would be able to be glorified. Amen. Whatever nation you're tuning in from today, we bless you. We call your nation blessed in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Tune in tonight. Prayer.